right, in this video, this is problem number six on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at idomath.weebly.com. Number six involves order of operations, PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And what we want to do here is do the order of operations correctly. The P stands for parentheses. So let's go ahead and take care of the parentheses first. I'm going to bring everything else down and we're going to work inside of these parentheses. 3 plus 2 gives us 5. So we're done with parentheses. I still have them there just to remind me that eventually we're going to multiply. And I say eventually because you have to be careful here. We have no exponents. And then your multiplication and division. Order of operations, you do not always multiply before you divide. You multiply and divide based on whichever one comes first. And if you did not do that correctly in this next step here, you will get the incorrect answer. So what we want to do here, we either multiply or divide from left to right, whichever one comes first. Since division comes first, we want to divide 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. Let's bring this one down. And finally, let's go ahead and multiply these together to get 25. That is our answer to this problem. Now, I do want to show you a common mistake that I see students make when performing order of operations. Some students think they're always supposed to multiply before they divide, and that is not correct. This is the correct way to do it. An incorrect way is to multiply these two numbers together first and then perform the division. This is not correct because this is going to give you an answer of 1. That is not how we perform order of operations. Multiplication and division is performed from left to right. That is why I divided first since that was the first operation I saw, and then we multiplied. Now, even though we did not see addition and subtraction in this particular example, we have covered this in the goals and objectives videos that are related to the problems that you see in the ATIT study manual. I encourage you to check that out. Addition and subtraction work the same way. They are performed whichever one comes first from left to right. So keep that in mind. Check out those videos and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And there you have it, problem number six on the free ATIT's math practice test. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.